Hello again, welcome back to my channel. This lesson, fourth lesson, as promised, we'll be looking at the left hand, so we'll be studying the bass clef. The left hand generally is going to play everything from middle C, as we talked about, to the end of the piano. The left hand side is represented on the sheet music with the symbol of bass clef. You're going to see that in the following photos. The main mistake that most people make with uh, the left hand more beginners tend to make is to count C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C and it doesn't work, it's the opposite it's like if you count to 10 and you count backwards you count 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, etc with this you do C B A G F E D C Okay. So we're doing the opposite, as where in the right hand we would say C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. We're going to count the other way around. You don't need to learn all of the notes straight away, but the following photos and diagrams are going to explain to you how you localize this, locate this note, all of these notes on the sheet music. The general rule is as the notes go down, we go towards the left on the piano. Um, I hope the following explanations will help, and that's the main aim for today. Thank you. So if you look on this picture, you can see the middle C there flashing, which I highlighted. Um, and if you look at the photo of the piano, where the middle C is, that's where you put your thumb. And then as you go down note by note on the stave, you descend C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. The opposite order of if you were to play the right hand upwards. And you can see we're going from a line to a space, to a line, to a space, to a line, etc. That should help you at least read the basic notes of the left hand and try and learn them. When we look at this picture, we can see the global view overall. And you can see the middle C um, in the center. You can see it on the picture of the piano as well. And then you can see that the right hand is going to be moving up on the top stave, which is the treble clef, or it can go down on the bass clef, note by note. You get to see the position of each of the notes on the piano. That gives you a good overall view of the principle that we move up the stave, climb up, and we move towards the right, or we go down and move towards the left. I hope that's given you a good basic idea of... Uh, some, to learn some simple notes on the piano. And next time we're going to look at finding some reference points to remember these notes. I hope you've enjoyed that and it's been useful. Please subscribe and I will speak to you soon.